A lot of stuff is going on right now. Nobody knows for sure what might happen next. Will the recent events turn into a new war? Perhaps even bigger than the Syrian civil war? Or will everything cool down? In this video, we talk about an event that might turn into a greater war between a lot of countries. For similar videos like this, check out the future Iranian civil war video and three possible scenarios of World War 3 where Kurds are involved. Link will be provided in the description box below. Now, before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Also, hit the notification button so that you don't miss any further videos. And at last, consider supporting us economically by donating an optional amount to our PayPal account. This is purely for our survival as we don't advertise on YouTube or any other media. Link for more information will be in the description box below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. A few weeks ago, there were some increasing tensions between USA and Turkey about the delivery of Russian S-400 systems, where both US and NATO made it clear that the receiving of this weapon from Turkey would have serious consequences. Now, Turkey did not listen to these warnings. In the 12th of July 2019, it was confirmed that Turkey had received parts of the agreed delivery from Russia. Has Turkey choose side now? Will they turn to the Russian, Iranian, Syrian and Iraqi side? Will US and NATO really action against Turkey or will they back off to keep a certain relation with the Turks? Okay, so Turkey is an interesting case because there's another one, Jim, that I get along with very well and he's a tough cookie, okay? Uh, right? President Erdogan. Uh, he's tough, but I get along with him. And uh, maybe that's a bad thing, but I think it's a really good thing because, frankly, uh, he wanted to wipe out. He, he has a big problem with the Kurds, as everyone knows. And he had a 65,000-man army at the border, and he was going to wipe out the Kurds who helped us with ISIS. We took out the caliphate. We have 100% of the caliphate. And I called him and I asked him not to do it. They are, I guess, natural enemies of his or Turkey's. And he hasn't done it. They, had, they, were, they were lined up to go out and wipe out the people that we just defeated the ISIS caliphate with. And I said, you can't do that. You can't do it. And he didn't do it. Now, Trump said that Erdogan was a tough guy to deal with, but that he felt that their relation was good. So, was this only to calm the situation down, or is it truly like that? This is impossible for us to know. But this could be one of three possible scenarios. 1. Erdogan and Trump has good relations, but Erdogan is a tough guy to deal with. 2. Erdogan and Trump has not a good relationship, but the importance of the relationship between the two countries are big and therefore USA must try to keep their relationship. 3. USA knows about Turkey's relationship with Russia, Iran, Iraq and Syria and will go against Turkey for this. However, they have to wait for the right moment and the right time to do so. And until then, keep their relationship as good as possible. On the other hand, the tension between Iran and USA has also increased. In the beginning of July 2019, Iran showed the world how they can defy the international nuclear agreement, a huge step towards a worldwide armed conflict. And in recent days, Iran has been bombing the Kurds in both Rosh Halat which is the Iranian-occupied Kurdistan, and in Bashur, which is the Iraqi-occupied Kurdistan, targeting both PDKY and PJAK, which is fighting Iran in Rosh Halat, but who has bases in both parts of Kurdistan. Both groups are receiving active support from both USA and Israel, and Iran sees these groups as US and Israel ground forces in Iran. It is only a matter of time before this turns into a full-scale war between many countries where we could see US, Israel, Saudi Arabia and the Kurds on one side 
and Turkey, Russia, Iran, Iraq and Syria on the other side. Or the tension would just cool down and the war would be avoided. What do you think will happen? Comment your opinion below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video.